Hi everyone, it's Jillian. Welcome to my channel and another crochet stitch tutorial. For today's tutorial, we will be working on the puff V stitch. This is the front of the pattern and this is the back. As you can see, it's completely reversible and it's a one row repeat pattern. So let's get started. To begin, you're going to chain in multiples of four plus two. For this tutorial, I have 22 stitches. To begin row one, you're going to skip the first stitch and into this you're going to make a single crochet into the second stitch you're going to make a one single crochet into every stitch until you get to the end of the row And that is the end of row one. For row two, you're going to chain three and turn. And that chain three counts as a stitch. You're going to skip three stitches, one, two, three. And into the next stitch, you're going to make your V puff stitch. You're going to wrap your hook and you're going to go into the stitch and you're going to pull up a loop five times. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And that should give you 11 loops on your hook. You're gonna wrap your hook and pull through all 11 loops. You're gonna chain one to close, and you're gonna make another chain. So that's a two chains. And you're gonna make another puff stitch into that same stitch, pulling up a loop five times. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to wrap your hook and pull through all loops. Chain one. And you're going to repeat by skipping three stitches one, two, three, and a V puff stitch into the next stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Wrap your hook and pull through all loops. Chain two, one to close and another one. And make another puff stitch into that space. Two, three, four, and five. Wrap your hook and pull through all loops. Chain one. And you're going to repeat until you get to the end of your row and I'll meet you there. At the end of your row, you will have four stitches left. You're going to make a double crochet into the last stitch. You're going to skip three, one, two, three, and a double crochet into that last stitch. And that is the end of row two. For row three, you're going to chain three and turn. And in row three, you will only be walking into the chain one space between the puff stitches. Into the chain one space, you're going to make a V puff stitch. Just like you did in row two, you're going to pull up a loop five times. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to wrap your hook and you're going to pull through all loops on your hook. Chain one to close and one more. And you're going to make another puff stitch into that same space. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to wrap your hook and pull through all loops on your hook. Chain one. 
and repeat into the next chain one space. That's three, four, and five. Chain one to close and one more. And you're going to make another puff stitch into the same space. Three, four, and five. You're going to wrap your hook and post with all loops. Chain one to close. And you're going to repeat that process until you get to the end of your row and I'll meet you there. At the end of the row, you're going to make a double crochet. And when I put the double crochet into the top of the chain three for this pattern, it kind of goes in on its own like that. And I don't like the way it looks. So I put the double crochet into the chain, into the second chain for straighter look, for straighter edge. And that's the end of row three. For row four, you're going to repeat row three, you're going to chain three, and you're going to turn your work. And working into this chain one space of the puff V stitch, you're going to make a puff V stitch. That's three, four, and five. You're going to pull through all loops on your hook. Chain one, and one more. So that's going to be a chain two. One more puff stitch into the same space. Chain one. And you're going to continue that sequence of stitches all the way to the end of the row and I'll meet you there. At the end of the row, just like you did in previous row, you're going to make a double crochet into the chain three. And once again, I'm going to put mine into the second chain. And that is the end of row four. To continue with this pattern, you're going to repeat row three for as many rows as you need. As always, thank you for visiting my channel. Please like and subscribe for more video tutorials.